Would the dinosaurs have survived if there were no asteroids? Dinosaurs ruled the Earth until they were taken out by massive, deadly asteroids. Humans should probably thank their good fortune that something bigger than the dinosaurs was able to wipe them out, otherwise we may have never gotten our turn. Or our turn would have involved coexisting with dinosaurs. But what if the massive asteroids that killed the dinosaurs never hit Earth? What if that event didn't take place? Would the dinosaurs still have survived? Would something else have taken them out? Would they still be around today? The history. Dinosaurs lived so long ago, it's hard to really picture it. To really fathom how long before us they walked this very same planet. Just think of yourself, your entire lifespan. If you're lucky, you could live to be 100. Multiply that by 100, that would be 10,000. 100 of your lifetimes gets you to 10,000. Multiply that by 100 again, then you get to 1 million. The dinosaurs lived between 252 million and 66 million years ago. 66 million years ago, they went extinct, and they had existed for a couple hundred million years already. The Earth has done so much changing since then. The era that dinosaurs lived in was the Mesozoic Era, and that was divided into three periods, which were the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. During the Triassic period, the Earth had one single landmass which was called Pangaea. It was hot and dry during this period of time, and at the end of the Triassic period, there were many earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which caused the landmass to split into multiple landmasses. Finally, the Atlantic Ocean was born. During this time, the dinosaurs existed with many other animals, but many of the other animals began to go extinct, and dinosaurs started to thrive even more. This was the start of the Jurassic period, in which there were more dinosaurs and a wider variety of dinosaurs. The temperatures fell a bit, but the Earth started to get much more rainfall than previously. There was much more plant life, and due to there being more plant food to go around to the plant eaters, many of them grew to humongous sizes. Then we moved into the Cretaceous period, where more animals came about, like the first snakes, bees which helped pollinate flowering plants, and even mammals were increasing in numbers. Some mammals got to large enough sizes that they became predators to smaller dinosaurs. But it was still the time of the dinosaurs until the asteroids came. The asteroids destroyed so much of Earth and sent the planet into a long winter. Contrary to popular belief, it did not immediately cause the last ice age. Planet Earth has had a few ice ages that we know about, and they kept coming about for a variety of reasons, much of it having to do with Earth's orbit around the Sun. No matter, the ice age came later, but when the asteroids hit, they did drop temperatures after their destruction, and the dinosaurs were gone. No asteroids. So it was the asteroids that killed off all the dinosaurs, but what if that didn't happen? Let's just say the asteroids veered off course and didn't hit Earth. Let's just say they were far, far away and our planet was untouched. Well, dinosaurs would still be around at that time and nothing would have changed immediately. There was a variety of animals existing, including many mammals, but there was nothing to compare to the massive reptiles walking the Earth. T-Rex was a humongous predator. The Brontosaurus was larger than life, grazing on tall trees. There were raptors and triceratops, and you name it. There was nothing immediately after that would have affected them. They would have kept ruling the Earth from 66 million years ago to 65 million years ago to 64 million years ago, and so on. Eventually, there may be some new obstacles. Some may think if the asteroids never hit, there would not have been the most recent ice age, but that was almost inevitably going to happen. Things have been in play for millions and millions of years, which is why several ice ages have occurred. This most recent ice age was on its way, whether the dinosaurs were aware of it or not. After the dinosaurs had gone extinct, some mammals began to flourish more. For example, many rodent-like mammals, and other larger mammals began to arrive on the scene. There were many mammals already, so some of this was due to the fact that their evolution was just continuing on, but it made it easier what with less competition and less 30-foot carnivorous reptiles stomping around. If dinosaurs were still here on Earth, the mammals would have continued to flourish but many believe it would have been at a slower rate than what they did. The Earth was warm, not too warm, and it received a good deal of rainfall. It was suitable for many kinds of life. Flowering plants were blossoming more and more, and it is believed that wouldn't have changed. 
Life would continue on the path it was taking, and most if not all species that were set to evolve and come onto the scene would still do so, including the eventual arrival of humans. And that eventual ice age was going to come around no matter what. There don't seem to be many obstacles that would have stopped the dinosaurs from continuing to thrive until the latest ice age. All those millions of years would have likely seen constant dinosaur activity. Six million years ago is around when humans first came onto the scene. They were able to do so for a number of reasons. One was because there were no dinosaurs. One has to wonder if the evolution of mammals would have been stunted due to the presence of carnivorous and territorial dinosaurs. If humans did come about, how long would they have lasted? They might have been the perfect target for faster, larger, stronger dinosaurs. Perhaps the saber-toothed tiger wouldn't have lasted as long as he did. Perhaps the evolution of all big cats would have been dashed away before it moved on too far. The woolly mammoth was a giant when he lived. He would have been dwarfed by some larger animals, larger predators too. But would the Ice Age have protected some of these animals from the dinosaurs? If you know reptiles, you know they do not like prolonged periods of cold. So dinosaurs wouldn't have been killed off by the asteroids, but would it be to only meet their eventual maker in the chilly Ice Age? The Ice Age. Dinosaurs are reptiles, and reptiles are cold-blooded, so they aren't like us warm-blooded humans. They warm their bodies from direct warmth from the sun, and their bodies will cool down by avoiding the sun, being in shaded areas or dipping into some water. They don't want to get too cold because they can't regulate their body temperature like warm-blooded animals can. Many reptiles like tortoises will hibernate when their surroundings get too cold, and many other reptiles will die off in extremely cold temperatures. Of the coldest of cold environments, one of those would be the Ice Age. The last glacial period, or LGP, was the last Ice Age, the one that we are most familiar with. It started about 115,000 years ago, so after humans had already existed for several million years, and it lasted all the way up until about 12,000 years ago. Huge sheets of ice covered the Earth, especially closer to the northern and southern poles, and glaciers were widespread throughout much of the planet. Canada was almost completely covered in ice during this time, as was much of the northern United States, stretching down to what is now Colorado and northern California. Northern Eurasia experienced the same situation. The British Isles, Germany, Poland and much of Russia was covered in ice and experiencing constant frigid temperatures. There were glaciers in the southern hemisphere as well, but it was not nearly as bad as it was in the northern hemisphere, more present closer to the South Pole. It isn't looking good for our dinosaurs. They continue to live after the time in which the asteroids would have hit, but this felt like it would be time for them yet again. How could these large reptiles survive an ice age? They might have survived an additional 66 million years or so, but the cold might do them in. But wait, it isn't actually as simple as all that. Yes, cold temperatures would be tough for reptiles in general, dinosaurs included, but not necessarily all dinosaurs. What is interesting is how dinosaurs came about. Before dinosaurs were the kings of the planet, there were other big reptiles who ruled before them. During this time, it is believed most, if not all, dinosaurs were relegated to the polar regions. Dinosaurs hadn't fully evolved to what we know them to be, and they couldn't compete with these other big reptiles. However, over 200 million years ago, these other big reptiles went extinct, and that is more so when dinosaurs began to take over. They could create homes all throughout the planet now, and not just in the polar regions. But even though dinosaurs are heat-loving reptiles, they used to live in the polar regions and were constantly enduring freezing conditions. So, even though they were heat-loving, maybe they weren't as heat-dependent as we once thought. In fact, dinosaurs were well adapted to the cold. That was not necessarily a deal-breaker for them. Many dinosaurs had thick skin that could keep them warm, especially the large ones, and plenty of them had feathers to help keep their blood warm as well. Now, when the Ice Age came about, there's no doubt that a lot of dinosaurs would not have been able to handle it and would have died out, but plenty of them would have continued on. All the large dinosaurs with thick skin, all the dinosaurs with feathers, all these dinosaurs that were adapted to living in cold temperatures because their ancestors were from polar regions. They'd adapt, 
and eight survive. And don't forget, there were areas in the world that weren't completely affected by the Ice Age. It may have been wise for dinosaurs to avoid Canada and the US and Russia and places covered in huge ice sheets, but a lot of Southern Asia looked to be habitable. South America and a lot of Africa felt like fair game. What a scary thought. Our ancestors came about six million years ago. Imagine their concern when the Ice Age struck and they had to deal with freezing temperatures, but there was also the possibility of a humongous dinosaur marching around outside. And the best move by humans during the Ice Age would have been to find the warmest climates, to find the areas with the least ice and snow. But if the asteroids never hit, if dinosaurs still existed, those warmer climates might have seemed a lot less tantalizing. They'd be presented with a real lose-lose situation. Either find a warmer climate and risk the 30-foot T-Rex living outside your cave, or live dinosaur-free in a frigid environment. How about now? Which leads us to present day. What would that mean for the world today? The impact and destruction of the asteroids paired with the ensuing harsh environment is what killed off the dinosaurs. If we bypassed the asteroids, the dinosaurs would have kept thriving for millions of years most likely. They wouldn't be challenged by many other animals, and the evolution of other animals, especially mammals, may have been significantly stunted. The Ice Age would have eventually come about, and not as many dinosaurs would have been killed off as you might think. Their numbers might dwindle, but there would still be plenty of bloodthirsty reptiles larger than a house. When the Ice Age ended, a good deal of dinosaurs would have made it through, including these house-sized individuals. Would humans have even lasted through all of this turmoil? If they did, would they have been able to thrive with modern inventions, or would they be relegated to the jungles with the apes? Could small pockets of civilization have sprung up? If they did, it's hard to imagine life looking anything like it looks today. Huts and small houses, sure, maybe. Buildings, skyscrapers, coffee places. Hard to keep those up with the dinosaurs marching around, looking for food, swinging their tails, causing destruction. It's a scary thought. Some of these dinosaurs were nearly invincible. Even an ice age couldn't stop a lot of them. The thing that ended them literally had to come from outer space. And humans might be thanking their lucky stars for that.